What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. You ain't a terrorist. I've been watching you. You have? You ain't watched behind your ears or nothing. But I did. So let me make sure I make let me make sure I understand the scenario and the question. So your brother um don't have no CDLs at all, right? Okay. Um for the three years that he was out of work. He was taking care of his son, right? No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Okay, that can be that that uh, that, uh, that can be very well documented. Uh, that could be when he when he fills out the application or one of the if if he fills out the online application and it asks you for like the ten years and all like that. He can go back as far as where he worked at. Then for the three years, for the last three years that he wasn't working, he could just put on there that he was, you know, he was a stay at home dad for his son. So that part right there, uh, he don't have to worry about. Uh, all he has to do is just put down where he worked at prior to uh, taking care of his son for the last three years all right the question should he just pay for it out of pocket and get his cdls or try and go with a company to get his cdls now before i answer that i do want to touch on the steven statement um that's kind of crazy um some you know these these companies you know these recruiters try to put themselves at a at, at a at a higher level than where they don't need to be you know they they don't need to like try to put all this pressure on a person that's interested in coming in to driving for their company like like you know you got to fill out an application first and then we'll talk to you. No, it, it don't work that way. It don't work that way. I I want to know before I give you any of my information, my personal information, my social security number information, my government name information. I want to know what you guys could offer me before I give you all of that. Because that if you if you tell me what you got the offer then i could put it in my head and say oh okay well this is the best route for me to take then i'll go and fill out the application and then we can go from there it's it's not the other way around we going in and touch on to touch on the other question where you said should he you know kind of pay out of pocket now you know i'm all for i'm all for paying out of pocket i mean if you got it if you got it by by any means, cash, credit, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I came from paying out of pocket. And I, I think I think by doing that, you know, it was a much better it was a much better process for me. I I, I wasn't confirmed. I mean I wasn't conformed to any uh responsibilities that a trucking company might have over you when when you let the trucking company pay you know i you know if it didn't work out at one place I, I i went to another place so as far as him uh if he can afford it and it sounds like he can uh yeah i i, I will say you know pay for it out of pocket I, I went to uh, the Social Security office. Um, I, I went to the Social Security office and I, I asked someone there to give me a printout 
of all the jobs that I had pertaining to my social security number. Because when you, you know, when you use your social security number, you have to use your social security number for all, you know, for your job, for your, you know, W-2 taxes and all like that. But just go to, you know, you know, where go to his social security administration office uh, and request a printout. Uh, just you, you could just tell him like, yo, just give me the last 10 years, you know, just be like, you know, just give me the last 10 years of the places that I worked at, that I used my social security number one. Uh, I believe so because you still have to use your social security number when you, when you fill out the application and they bring you on for 1099, because sometimes if you don't use your if you don't use your 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 e number or your llc number you know sometimes uh your social security number will be your uh your personal number as well as your person to doing business as number you see what i'm saying so that's if they that's if they don't that's if they don't i mean that i mean they can still you know look it up but when he you know when he when he asks him you know it it, it it should give you or give him a printout of every you know every place that he worked at from when he started to when he left uh, after you know after he get that printout probably might cost him I, well i'm not sure how much it's gonna cost him it's gonna cost him but it, it costed me like 150 dollars you know 150 dollars well spent but um but yeah it, yeah it gave it gave me it gave me a printout of all of all the jobs that i i worked in a 10-year span and then the time that i didn't work you know the the gaps in between the jobs you know i i just put in there that i was like an owner you know like you know i was uh like a, uh, I took care of my kid. You know, I ain't, I ain't going to detail and let them know that I was owner operator of different companies because it didn't show up on the, uh, it didn't show up. And to double back to that question, the 1099 question, come to think of it, I don't think none of my 1099 uh, endeavors showed up because I, when I did 1099, you know, I had to do 1099 for my for my um for my uh road service business. But you you know what? For the road service business, it didn't show up. But when I used my social security to to do the taxes because I had to pay myself, it showed up. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, it did it, it showed up as me being an employee of the company but not being the owner of the company so yeah it did it did show up but the 1099 part didn't I think there's a terminal out there that would give him an opportunity. I mean, there's, you know, you you got, you still got your Swifts, you still got your CRST. Well, no, CRST not 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 doing schools no more. You still got your CR Englands. You still got your Rails. Oh, you want to pay? Oh, oh, if you if he pay out of pocket for his schooling, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, once he got his. Once he got his license and put in the application, you know, as long as, you know, as long as he still, you know, as long as he get his, his last 10 years together and put it all in a, and put it all in a, um, in a, uh, in a, in a packet, he's a new, he's a new driver coming out of school. I don't see why he wouldn't be picked up by one of these, you know, uh, mega carriers that would take on a person straight out of school. You know, that's why that's why I'm kind of scratching my well, you know what? Stevens was offering their school. So 
yeah, you know, they probably had a they probably had a thing about that. But if he he got his license, so you know he he can like I say he can go to the likes of the Rails, the Snyders, the 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 uh, CR Englands without with with without uh without somebody looking you know looking at his past and be like oh well you didn't work for the last three years well i didn't work for the last i didn't work for the last three years because i was at i was an at home dad for my son and you know now that his mom's you know me and his mom's made a made made a thing now so that i am able to come out and pursue my career in trucking I don't see why that should be a hindrance. I mean, I took care of my kid. My kid's autistic. I took care of my kid for three years. That's that's where I was at, you know? And where I worked at previous, you know, shows, where I worked at previous, all the way up until the time that I had to step out of the work to take care of my son. Now I'm looking to get back into the workforce and trucking is what I'm interested in coming into. I got my license. I'm, I'm out of school, you know, an accredited school. Now I want to get with a company that can further teach me to be a professional truck driver. Oh, you start with C. I was about to say Western Express, <laughs> but the other company is CR England. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe Covenant. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. You say C. Hold on, we got Covenant, we got we we got Covenant, we got CRST and CR England. Which one is it? Oh, Carolina. Now you know I heard, I I haven't heard nothing bad about them, so I'll just leave it at that because that you know I I heard of Carolina Cargo, but I haven't heard nothing bad about them. Oh, that's just like Covenant. Co Covenant is a team driving company too, so I don't know about that. <laughs> At first, when I went with U.S. Express, I was, I, I was open to the idea of teaming, but, but after talking to the driver and his expectations, then that kind of turned me off from it. And then after I got in the, got in the truck and started driving more and more by myself and starting to realize, like, if I, if I want somebody in the truck. It's definitely not going to be no hard lays, bro. <laughs> it ain't going to be no hard lays up in here. It's going to be so. It's going to be some soft, fluffy lays up in here. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Most definitely, I'm going to give her respect because that's what I do. Not going to, not going to turn like, you know, not trying to get on it, but it's just the fact that I'd rather have a woman team driver than, than, than a dude. I, I don't know why. I don't know why, but that's just me. I'm, you know, but I definitely be going to be for the money. No, no, uh, 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 you, you lucky I don't have my, you lucky I don't have my buzzer right now. No, 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 it ain't going to be about no messing around, bro. It's going to be about getting to the money. That's about it. it ain't about nothing. Mm -mm. I, I, I know it's funny. You know, it's crazy that, you know, guys get in it. They train, they, I mean, not train, but they, they you know, female and a guy get into it. They, they, you know, they, they in this confined space and, you know, feelings and all like that, but no, I, I can control myself, bro. We, we, you know, we came together. We, we came together for a, a broader, uh, a, a broader reason. You want to make money, I want to make money. <laughs> hey, look, shout out to R. Kelly, man. I don't care what nobody says, man. We, we still getting down with R. Kelly, bro. I look. I, you know, R. Kelly, I, I salute you, my guy, and I, I hope and pray you get a better lawyer. But I'm, st I'm still rocking with R. Kelly, man. R. Kelly got hits, bro. I, 
that's what I'm saying. R. Kelly got hits, man, hits after hits. And all them females, I know this is off topic, but all them females that 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 threw him under the bus are the same females that was looking at him that the the the, the, the do something for him. Yeah, the red is looking is not looking good. <clears throat> But I'll, I'll pray for him. But yeah, like you said, uh, you said that good R. Kelly came on and it was it was clap session time. <laughs> uh, but for me, I, you know, like I said, I, I know a few guys that, uh, you know, that 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 was together and, um, you know, they they started out as, you know, uh, team uh, as a team drivers and the idea was for it to be the way it was but you know later down the line it changed but it can also change for the worse too because there's 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 been there's been documented proof that my radio believe me i like it loud i'm a man with a box